evening. As you can see, I've done a little boot shopping. Now, this isn't my normal deal. I'm not sponsored by any of these guys. I was just looking for a second pair of boots online and I came across all these cheap no-name brands I've never heard of on Amazon. Uh, I think the most expensive one here on the table is $99. And instead of just trying one, I thought, well, I'll order them all and see if I like any of them. And well, I can tell you right now, if you just want to cut to the chase, there's only one of them I like. And I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of each of these, starting on the left. It's a Dengu brand, it's D-I-N-G-G-U. They were $49.90 shipped to the house. Uh, what I didn't like on those was you could see this white part right here on that boot that's in between the outsole and uh, the midsole, I guess. That, that piece would be called the midsole. That stuff is like super squishy, small foam, like marshmallow. And I'm kind of a big boy, and when I stand in them boots, that foam just pooches out the side and is just completely crushed. I don't think that boot would last two days working anywhere. Next, we've got this brand called Hi-Sea, or hi -C. it's H-I-S-E-A. I'll try to put little screenshots of all these boots on their Amazon listing if you want to look them up in the video. But I like this boot. It's comfortable. I've, I've only worn these around the house now. I wore each of them for a good hour or two, except for that one. That one was just terrible. And then I didn't wear that one very long, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But I like it for the price. Uh, it's it's okay. I think it'd be good for somebody who like works in a warehouse or something. My complaint is this midsole is this, this foam stuff again. And as you can see, we'll get closer in a second, but it's got that little thin layer and that thin layer on the bottom's hard but it's like i said it's thin compared to these other boots i believe that'll peel off real fast if not wear through and then you'll start eating the foam i don't think you're going to get a lot of value out of this one uh, this company though does advertise they got a lifetime warranty don't know how that works not sponsored by them or nothing you know your mileage may vary i'm not keeping this boot now on to the boot that I actually like that I'm gonna keep around for a little bit, I think. Uh, I did order some more boots after ordering these just cause I wasn't super happy with it. So we're gonna have another batch of these, but uh, this one is called a Sureway and it came in at $89.99. Excuse me a second, I'm gonna pause for the train coming by. All right, that train engine's down the road a little bit, done honking its horn so y'all can hear me talk. But, uh, the Sureway boot here, like I said, is $89.99 shipped. I like it, it's comfortable around the house. Uh, didn't wear it to work, obviously, in case I want to return it, but it has been good. Uh, the lower layer on this is a lot thicker than that boot. Uh, it's a good quarter inch, that boot's like an eighth of an inch. The midsole is a lot tougher foam than that one. Uh, my only complaint on this boot is on the inside. Uh, in the back where your heel rubs against the back, there's a, it's supposed to be a piece there called a counter on a lot of boots that it's a little patch that, you know, helps keep your foot from rubbing. This boot doesn't have it and the liner on the inside is real slick. So if you don't get a tight fit, I think you're going to end up rubbing around in that boot. But other than that, the other seems okay. Uh, all of these are lined boots except for this last one. Now, this last one's called a Golden Fox and it seems like a solid boot as far as construction, but I have some QC issues with it. The bottom sole on these is thicker on one side of the boot than the other. So when I put it on, it kind of twists my ankle around and I can just see that is gonna end up real bad. So I'm sending this one back. I don't know if it's a fluke or if they're all like that, but I hate it. Uh, other than that, I mean, the construction's great. If they could get that sole flattened out, that'd be a real good boot. All right, I'm gonna take you in for a little closer look at these boots. This is the one I absolutely hated. This white foam layer squishes out the sides. You know, I'm kind of heavy, I'm like 280. And as soon as you step in it, that brown just crunches all the way down to the bottom. It, it, it's just a complete knockoff. It looks like a boot. I wouldn't trust it for anything. This boot was comfortable. Uh, it seems to be well-made. This is the one that 
uh, advertises a lifetime warranty. Again, I don't know how that works. But as you can see, that outsole is pretty thin. And I think it's going to have peeling issues. There's no toe stitch. Uh, all of these boots are advertised as Goodyear welted. That's what interested me in them was that they were mock toes, flat bottom wedge soles, and that they were Goodyear welted boots. That was my criteria. Oh, and safety toe. Everything here on the table has a safety toe. This one that I like that I'm going to keep and compare to the next set of boots we're ordering is the Sherway. Uh, it has a lot denser outsole. This middle foam layer here is a lot denser than the other two boots to the left. And the bottom plate on the outsole there is a lot thicker and harder. I mean, that's a good quarter inch there. And then it goes all the way up on the toe. And this boot, even at you know this price point, has a toe stitch. And I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, it is very comfortable. This boot, my only complaint was that there's no counter and the material that they line the inside of it with is very slick. And I was not trying to get lined boots. I prefer unlined, but unfortunately the only unlined boot we got this round is this Golden Fox. Now, it's going to be hard to see on camera, but if you look at that, it's thicker on one side than the other and the whole sole kind of twists. I don't know if that's just this pair of boots and maybe they had a bad day or if they're just built like that, but uh, that doesn't work for me. Uh, the leather seems to be better than all the other boots on the table, but not by much. And this one was $10 more than this boot. So I'm going to keep wearing this boot around the house for a couple more days till the other boots I ordered show up and then we'll go from there. But uh, this is just kind of my little summary of ordering these cheap boots on Amazon so you don't have to and uh, I mean do what you will some people need a really soft squishy boot I mean maybe if you were 100 pounds that boot would be okay for you but it ain't all right for me y'all have a good day